Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to fix that type of error and what is the error actually. So uh, here uh, we have two constructor uh, with the same name, home, uh, you can say that uh, constructor is also this, this, the same name. So uh, you can say that here we have a uh, controller name that is the home controller and the constructor name is home controller as usual the same. But you can notice that uh, in the first controller, uh, just initialize ilogger file, and in the second constructor, uh, here we have in to initialize iweb host environment uh, like that. So if you take uh, two constructor for uh, initializing each uh, each uh, property or interface or each dependency, so that type of error message you always got and how to fix this uh, error message uh, if you have got that type of error message invalid operation exception multiple constructor accepting all given argument type have been found in type this controller name uh, there should only be one applicable constructor so only one applicable constructor is uh, need right here so instead of multiple constructor so just you can use uh, just cut it from here and paste it just after that and you can use just cut and just separating with the comma and right here and remove this part okay so everything is okay and you will see that your problem will be resolved after uh, stop debugging and refresh and saved and just run it again and you will see that your problem will be resolved easily easy way you can do this so your problem will be resolved so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and don't forget please subscribe my channel